Hi everyone, John here. I want to show you the best way to clean your Apple AirPods. I have the original AirPods right now, and these are the ones I've had uh, since day one, since they came out. I'm going to be getting the wireless case, the wireless charging case, and everything like that, but right now, these are the ones I have, and sometimes they get pretty nasty and get wax in the ears. Sometimes the sound is not good because you can, all that wax will block the bass, it'll block the sound, and it really is quite uh, disturbing. And you might think that, hey, these things are wearing out, they're getting bad, and, and when they're not, there's nothing wrong with them, they're just a little bad. So let me show you how to go ahead and clean them. So I've got a few things here. So I've got, I've got isopropyl alcohol, 70%. This is what Apple recommends to clean with. I've got a toothpick. I'll show you what that's used for. I've got a Q-tip and I've got a toothbrush. Now this is not the toothbrush I use on, for myself. I use actually a power toothbrush, but this is what you get when you get a cleaning. Um, so you, you want a soft bristled brush. I, I just use the one I get from the dentist when I, uh, when I go ahead and uh, get a cleaning. So they always give you a free one. So you always have those around, which is nice. So this one's a brand new one. And so what you wanna do first is, get some alcohol together. And what I normally do is I put a little bit of alcohol in the cap, okay? So, and I'll set that down, okay? So that's just easy to get to, not a problem. I use a light that, and this light is very important because you wanna see what you're doing. So I usually use a, a desk light, and this one's LED, which is quite nice. And let's go ahead and see what, what to do about cleaning these. So the first thing that we're gonna do is take out these earbuds okay so you're just going to take those out not a problem we're going to deal with those later now you're dealing with the case and as you can see my case is kind of dirty i've got dirt all around here i've got dirt on the outside i put these in my pocket next to my wallet so it's actually a little black so i got a little darkness here so let's show you what what i'm going to do to clean those what i'm going to do with that is just to clean the outside first i'm going to take it and i'm going to put a little alcohol on my microfiber and as you can see i got that wet and we're just going to wipe the case down and that's really easy. The microfiber will take, take off all that dirt and debris and make it all nice. And this is a good way to just kind of get the outside done, right? Okay, good. We're gonna get that outside. What really gets the darkness out, if you, get, uh, if, if you have those eyeglass cleaning cloths, they're like little white sheets of paper, that will actually buff out this with some rubbing alcohol and that will actually just get, the, get any darkness off and that works really well. So let's talk about the inside. No, actually, let's actually talk about the bottom. So this is where the toothpick comes in. You only want to do this. You only want to go ahead and do anything with this area if you have connection problems. If you're not, if you're you're plugging in your USB connector and your micro uh, uh, connector uh, from Apple, your lightning cord, and you're not getting a connection. Sometimes that's due to debris getting in there. I would bring it into an Apple store to get looked at. But if you can see some lint in there that you need to take out, I would be very careful in here. There's pins here you can break, so you wanna very carefully get in there and lift out whatever's in there. I would just be very gentle. I wouldn't even recommend doing this, but if you just very gentle, you might be able to do that without bending any pins. I wouldn't use any cleaner in there, and again, if you have problems here, I would just bring it in and not use the toothpick if you can avoid it. The other thing you're gonna do is open it up, and you're gonna see that there's some areas inside here where the uh, where the stuff is. You don't want to use a toothpick in there. You want to use the the alcohol. So you want to make sure it's it's dry, not too not too wet. So you're going to dry it off, and then you can get in there and and with a with a uh, Q-tip and clean inside there. Usually mine don't get dirty in there, so I really don't have a problem with this area. Where I get the dirt is around the edge here. So. What I do is I take the toothpick and I might just scratch around some edges to loosen up some of that black dirt or any kind of dirt because I leave it in my pocket all the time. And now I'm gonna take the, the Q-tip and I'm gonna wipe that all off. And that will just come right off. It's pretty easy, it's pretty easy. If you got any hard areas, you can just maybe get the toothpick out to kind of scratch a little bit of the dirt off, but for the most part, this will clean up what's in here and works really well usually. So, so you know, uh, you know, you might have to work on it a little bit um, just to get out, because sometimes there's earwax in this area, but you can really get 
all the good stuff and, and, and get that off. Now that we have this all cleaned off for the most part, you can just go ahead and work on these AirPods. So the left and right AirPods are very sensitive. So you want to be very careful you don't use the toothpick. Don't use the toothpick in there if at all possible. What I use is the toothbrush. So my best thing is, if, is not to use the alcohol too much if you don't have to. I would first try to go ahead and work on the grills. So getting the wax out in there. Now the toothbrush you can just gently keep working on. It might take you doing this 50 times, but if you just very gently go over this grill, you're gonna get out all that debris and you don't wanna press hard, very light. There's a grill there. There's this, this is an area right here. So you got this grill right over here, this little line. And you want to just keep working it. Now mine are pretty clean. I've just cleaned mine. But you want to just do that. And just keep keep working at it until you get all the debris out. Now you want to go at different angles. And this is where this light comes in handy because you want to be able to see inside there. And when you get inside there, you can see that that grill is totally clean. And, you know, and then you want to hit it with the, with the alcohol after that. So gently, don't have it dripping wet, but dry it off on your hands. And then you can... You can hit it with a little alcohol, you know, and clean that. Now, this also disinfects it. Now, this is a good tip. If you're going to bring these in to get looked at at the Apple store with the Genius people, they love it if you say that you disinfected this before they have to put it in their ears because they don't like that. I don't really mess around too much in this area. Uh, again, the toothbrush would be good in this area if you get anything. I don't get earwax in there usually. But as you can see, I've got a perfectly clean and clear thing there. So, and I'm gonna do it with the same with the next one. Just go ahead and hit it with this. Now you might have to do this 50 times, keep doing it, just keep working at it. You're gonna get all that earwax. I see I've got some earwax that I can see right there. Um, I sleep in these sometimes. And so, so it's gonna get a little earwax in there. Um, the isopropyl alcohol will help clear that out as well, but I would try to do it while it's dry and try to flake out any kind of earwax that you have, then hit it afterwards with a little of the alcohol, you know, but you just don't want to, they're, they're, they, they do, they can get wet um, because we know that they can, although Apple doesn't say they 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 can, but we all know that, you know, we've seen videos and stuff where this stuff can get wet. Um but you just wanna be careful with it. The alcohol, what's great about that is it will dry really fast. I'd let it dry until, I, before you put them back in the case, make sure that they dry. But now you've got crystal clean, beautiful white headphones that are clean and you can give them to somebody else if you want them to use it and it won't be embarrassing. So that is my tip for cleaning it. Remember, always use a soft toothbrush. Don't press really hard. Keep the grill really clean and you're gonna, you're gonna get this. And if you just do this uh, maybe once a month, you're fine. I wouldn't think you need to do more than that. But if you're having sound issues, this will take care of that. Most of the time, it's just earwax getting in there. Now, you, if you look with the light, you can see that the light is shining through the grill and you can see into there. That means that you've cleaned out all the holes and you've got no issues with sound. And that's what you want. You want these sounding really good. Anyway, if you like my channel, please like and subscribe. Take care.